President Biden wrapped up a trip to Asia where he urged leaders to do more to help Ukraine defend itself against Russia. The war in Ukraine has been raging for three months now, and today, a CBS News crew came dangerously close to the fighting. Here's CBS's MTS Tayab. It's only a handful of farmhouses and fields, but Russia has been targeting this village ruthlessly. Major Serhei and his soldiers have been defending it for weeks, but have recently changed tactics. This is now an offensive. You're targeting Russian forces. Yeah, we forces. are targeting every day. Because we exactly, we need to do this. We, we have, have to do much. this. We, yeah, we have to do this, must. Yeah. The Russian forces aren't backing down. We just had some incoming Russian shelling. We're just on our way to find a shelter in this disused farmhouse. Just, you can hear, they're still firing. On the way, we're forced to duck under a tree. Okay, there you go. And that was some pretty sure. serious incoming okay. from the Russian side. <laughs> this was an area they occupied up until six <laughs> weeks ago, <laughs> and they really want it back. Getting close up. A Russian drone is circling above. It's now or never. So we sprint to a nearby root cellar that Ukrainian forces have been using for weeks. The shell strikes are now just 50 yards away. With us is Oksana Kozirenko. Is this normal for this area? By any measure, this is not normal, she says. The Russians are giving us a hard time, but we can tell they're getting weaker. After several more strikes, we're given the order to run back the way we came and to our vehicles, then quickly drive towards safety. Imkios Times, CBS News, on the Kherson front line.